I give God all the glory for this opportunity to stand here. Urus, thank you so much. I'm more of an actor than a spoken word artist, but I'm very excited to be here. It started up one day. One touch, one feel, one shrink, one orgasm. One minute, one second, no time to think, no time to stop, no time to pause and reflect, no time to advise myself. But what was I really going to tell myself? That I now take the role of a husband and a wife at the same time, or that it's not bad touching myself, after all, it is not fornication. I'm not touching anyone, neither is anyone touching me, or maybe I should just stop killing myself. This is not sin I try to convince myself with whispers that are so faint that I can barely even hear them. This is no sin. Scripture will never put it down expressly. And when there's no law, there's no crime. And when there's no crime, there's no punishment. So I'm free. Or oh, am I? So I started up one day. Continued and it grew. It's just not numbering my age. This has been my only flaw that brings me to the floor of repentance. Why do I keep doing this? Constantly defiling his temple with the hands that he gave me to worship. I'm addicted. I can't stop. Not to praise him, but to praise my flesh. I give glory to myself. Now, if this is not seen like I convinced myself, why does my heart tell me I'm doing wrong? My conscience doesn't feel at ease, neither mind the right frame of mind to assess God. My mind has been depraved and my thoughts have been enslaved to the thoughts of my hands in between my legs and my dick that I can't stop. And I'm a good painter because I consciously paint pictures when he's told me to cast down all evil imagination. Lost in my mind is uncontrollable. I do not have sex. Neither do I engage in that kind of discussion that will lead me to sex, but my mind is rated X, X, X. I'm addicted. Scripture says, as a man thinks in his heart, so he is, but right now I don't want to be my thoughts. I don't want to even think my thoughts are alive because my ability to think thoughtfully is lost, lost in lost, lost of the flesh, my flesh that makes me feel less of myself, myself that is lost in lost, I'm lost in the reality of the real me, the me who God says I am, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, Jesus who took away my sins, sins that he took, now I'm with them who gave them to me. He gave me righteousness for free. Righteousness is a gift. I do not have to pay for it. But holiness is entirely my decision. And holiness starts from my mind. So for any addiction, any addiction at all, was there up in one day with one touch, one feel, one shrink, one orgasm, one kiss, one drink too many, one sniff, can also end in one day, with one decision today, to let the Holy Spirit take away temporal pleasures that denies us eternity, one decision to hide God's word deep down in our heart that sin becomes repulsive, one decision to focus on thinking syllables that he taught us in Philippians chapter 4 verse 8, one decision to love him far above the addiction that you can't, or rather you thought you could never stop. Now I've made my own decision, don't ask me what. Go ahead and make yours.